Hello, Assalamualaikum. This is Farhan and today I want to discuss about our object oriented programming group project and which is about the home and food ordering system. Okay. Let me tell about the description of our project. All and food ordering is a process of ordering food from a local restaurant or food operating through a web page or application, much like ordering consumers goods online. Many of these allow customers to keep account with them in order to make frequent ordering convenient. A customer will search for a favorite restaurant is usually filtered by a type of design <coughs> and choose from available items and choose delivery or pickup payment can be or uh, most others either by credit card or cash. With the restaurant returning a percentage to the online food company. Alright. So for making this project we have developed all the code in, in graphical user interface and we have implemented many, so many methods and objects so that it can work properly without any errors. So let me run our program. Okay, this is our mainly our home page. This is the title that welcome to Bangladesh Food Corner. Bangladesh Food Corner is the name of the restaurant where the customers can have many delicious Bangladeshi foods. So on this frame we have two J buttons. First one is for the ordering and the second one is for the exit from the system. <coughs> if the user wants to order uh, an item, then he or she needs to click this order button. Okay. After that, this main panel, like main page, will appear. Over here, the user can see three different categories for the foods. First one is the starter, second one is for the main dish, and third one is for the dessert. Let's say the user wants to choose a food from starter. So he can simply choose either from these three options. Three, there are three foods over here in a J comp box. If say the, the user wants to order uh, here this food called Alu Chop, it's a very delicious Bangladeshi food which which is made with with mashed potatoes and boiled egg inside. So the image gonna appear over here. The food is look like this, and the price is also given in in Malaysian ringgit. And it's only three ringgit. If the user wants to order uh, this item, so, so he or she needs to click this order button. Okay. After that, there will the selected item is gonna appear over here. See the aloo chops is already in the order item box and it's showing the total price. Let's let's say the user wants to order more. Let's say he wants to order our main dish, so he he can go over here and choose. Let's say maybe the beef biryani. It's also a very delicious food made with rice and beef, and the price is here is seven ringgit. So if he or she needs to order this, so he needs simply just click the order button, and it will go after the aloo chop, the second selected item, and the total price is ten ringgit. The first one and the second one pluses, and the total price appears here. Okay. If the user now wants to uh, uh, payment. So he needs to click the payment button and the final message, a pop-up message gonna appear that your order has been scheduled. Thank you for ordering. So in this way, uh, the system works and the user or the customer can, can order the foods from like these simple steps. Let's say uh, if you want to delete something like here the user select this food called jilaki for the dessert. Okay, he ordered it. Let's say he wants to delete this one, so he can simply click the delete button. So it will delete it, and he can start again, over again. Uh, if you, if he or she wants to exit this program, simply click the return button, and over here it is gonna show the previous page. And here the user needs to click the exit button. Simply click the exit button, and the, the whole system gonna disappear. This is our project. Thank you for watching this video.